Hello and welcome to the demonstration for the Driller's Little Helper built for the USA. Along the bottom you can see the different pages this application has. We have a directional survey analysis, carbide tracer, average hole size, weight up with barite, annular pressure loss and equivalent circulating density, and hydrostatic loss. There's some new features in this little helper. For each page, you can flip around and you're going to find some background information on the, the formula and the analysis that is going on on this front page. That is the case for each one. You're also going to find some handy hints and you know maybe some values that can be used where input is required. It also details any limitations that might be intrinsic to the analysis. Okay, so I've already entered some values in here. So we can just have a look at what's going to be returned and then what you can do with that information. I guess just before I do that. The number pad here has changed compared to the other little helpers. So it's a lot easier to use. The, each, you know, each key is a lot bigger, if you like. Um, we do only need these integers plus the decimal points, so this suits, suits us really well. Okay, so directional survey analysis. We're comparing survey point two to survey point one. And it's going to tell you which direction and how far the second survey is relative to the first survey. Now, once you get to this stage, you can send an email from within the application. It's just a matter of typing in who you want to send it to, maybe yourself, you know, maybe someone else in the company. Um, it's going to tell you what it is. It's going to automatically capture the screen and attach it to the email, which is just fantastic. At the press of a button, you can send an email. It's easier to send an email from within this application than it is from a normal email account than laptop or desktop, whatever it might be. Now, where you've done this for a particular situation, you may like to type in the well name here. Okay, so that's easily done. Get out of here. I don't want to keep that. Now, I'll have a look at this next one here. We want to be able to enter this pump output as, you know, in barrels per stroke now. It's going to be different for every pump. Okay, so this number pad will come up for that. Let's just change this a little bit. Oh, direction, so 0 0.12. Same for carbide strokes. Now, when you get to casing ID, uh, you may not necessarily know what the casing ID is for you know every, every sort of casing that's run. So what I've done here is entered all the API standards in this picker view. So it's simply a matter of scrolling, scrolling down, scrolling through. Highlight, highlighting the, the casing that you have and it's automatically going to populate this text field with a correct ID. Super easy to use. This is, this is fantastic. A lot, lot simpler than having to remember and, and type in numbers. Okay, same for this sort of thing here, drill pipe displacement. It's not something you're going to know off the top of your head, but you will know what is in the well, uh, what, what size drill pipe you have in the well. So once again, scroll to whatever you have and then this will automatically be updated. Now to dismiss this uh, scroll view, um, 
or the number pad. It's just a matter of tapping on the background here. Anywhere is fine. Okay, so same story here. Tap a button, captures the screen, automatically attaches it to the email, type in whatever the email address is here. Okay, same story here. Um, you'll just have to type these numbers in and returns. The amount of barite required to weight up to a given value. Okay. Annual pressure license equivalent circulating density. Some really good information on the back here, which you can read through. Details when this becomes important. Um, it's the same story for uh, casing ID and the drill pipe or tubing ID. When you enter that field, the scroll view picker will pop up, select what you have, and it will automatically update. Yeah, dismiss it, calculate. Okay, so you get annular velocity, annular pressure loss, and the equivalent circulating density detailed here. Once again, email, screenshot, great. And last but not least, hydrostatic loss. Now you can use this in a couple of different ways. It may be where you know, you've encountered lost circulation, you've lost mud to the formation, and you've pumped water into the annulus, or where water has actually come into the well from the formation and increased the, the volume in the mud system. Either way, the amount of water that's been added to the mud system is entered here. Um, what else is... Oh, another thing to point out. The water weight, pure water is weighs 8.345 pounds per gallon. Um, yeah, it may be a little heavier than that if you're using uh, salty water or, or a water with some a lot of dissolved minerals in it. It could be around 8.5, 8.6 pounds per gallon but in that ballpark. Okay, so it's going to return how many feet of water you now have in the annulus. The hydrostatic pressure um, has decreased by a certain number of PSI and the equivalent mud weight at TD because of that influx of water and loss of mud is going, obviously going to be less. So it was 9.5. It's now dropped to 8.6 based on these numbers here. Okay, well, that's it. Um, thank you very much.